Today on our 2009 Kia Sedona, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118410. This is what our wiring looks like when it's installed. This is going to give you all the necessary functions for your trailer lighting, your turn signals, your brake lights, your running lights, and your ground. It's going to come with a dust cap to help cover your connections, keep them from corroding. When not in use, you can second your dust cap as a holder, like that, on your safety chain loops. If you prefer to have it mounted and stationary on the hitch, we do have long brackets, short brackets, and four pore holders, which you can find on our website. First thing we need to do to start our installation, we need to gain access to our tail lights. You're going to have three screws. We need to remove, to remove our tail lights, you're gonna do the same thing on both sides of the vehicle. We'll be using a Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna slowly start to pry this out. We're gonna unhook our wiring right down here that's run into the vehicle. We're gonna push down this little tab. And pull out like that. We'll set our light aside for reinstallation. Now we'll go over to the passenger side and do the same thing. You can see right here, I ran an airline tube down behind my bumper and it's coming out the bottom by my hitch. What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to find a path that goes down through there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wire with the yellow, brown, and white. I'm gonna tape it on the end of my airline tube with some electrical tape, like this. I'm gonna slowly pull it back up through here. Once you get your path through, pull your wires out. We'll remove the wiring from the airline tube. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna match the ends. Push it until you hear it click. Now we can reinstall our tail light and put that onto our tail light. until you hear it click. You're gonna make sure that you line up the pins with the holes in the side as you're putting it in. Now we can reinstall our screws that we removed. Next thing we're gonna do is right here on the bottom underneath the vehicle there's a plastic panel and there's one, two, three, four plastic screws that are Phillips that we're going to remove before we run our green wire across the bumper. We're going to take our green wire that's running to our passenger side light and we're going to push it up back up in there and then we're going to put our screws back in and that's going to hold our wire up inside of our bumper fascia. Up in here. Next, we're going to do the same thing we did on our driver's side. We're going to take our wiring. It's going to be the green and red. We're going to hook it onto our airline tube that's running up to or to the, the body of the vehicle. And then we're just going to repeat our process on pulling it up. So next, what I'm going to do is my modular box. I need to find a good place to mount it. So what I did is right up on the back side of this pan here, there's a nice flat spot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol. I need to wipe off the back of the box, make sure it's clean. And then the spot where I'm gonna be placing it, I need to make sure that is clean. Next, I'll take my two-sided tape, peel off one end, put it on the box. Go off the other end. Once you get it in the spot, make sure you press it into place. Next thing I'm gonna do is connect my power wire. My black wire, they're gonna be running to the front. I wanna take up, and you can see I made kind of a little half moon shape out of it. I'm gonna run up behind the bracket that's holding the rest of my wires in. Just like that. I'm going to take my red wire from over the top. So now we'll strip our power wire that we're running to the front. 
Now your kit comes with butt connectors. However, I'm gonna replace it with a heat shrink butt connector since this is gonna be living outside of the vehicle. It's gonna give a little extra protection. Crimp it down. And we'll connect it onto our red wire. Crimp it down. Take a heat gun and we will shrink up our butt connector. Once you have it shrunk, we'll take some electrical tape, we'll wrap it up, just to give it a little extra protection. And we'll slowly start to pull our power wire back up through. Next thing we're gonna do is mount our ground wire. We'll take our included self-tapping screw and a quarter inch socket. Once we find a good place for it, you wanna make sure you do it on metal. Stay away from plastic. Next, we're gonna run our power eye up to the battery. Let me get that done real quick and I'll show you how I did it. So I ran my power wire right here along this side. You wanna make sure you stay away from anything moving or that gets hot. You can see this spring, the cup that's up here does not move. So what I did is I routed it right behind the cup, right along here, through this bracket that's holding this tank on. Again with this one, right behind this one, to this existing wiring, factory wiring. The tide right here, you can see here, I ran an airline tube down from my battery. We'll take the end of our power wire, feed it into the airline tube. Now we can go up top, pull our airline tube up with our wire. We're going to be hooking up to our positive side of our battery. Next, we're going to take the fuse holder. We're going to cut it in half. We're going to strip both ends. One end, we're going to put the included ring terminal. Comes in your kit. Crimp it down. On the other end, we're going to put a buck connector. Again, I'm replacing the one that comes in the kit with a heat shrink buck connector since it's going to be living outside of the vehicle. Crimp it down on here. Next, we're gonna cut our power wire that we ran from the back. Cut it back here. Make sure you don't let it go. We're gonna add on the end of our buck connector. Crimp it down. Then we'll shrink that up with the heat gun. Next thing we'll do is remove our panel. I'm gonna take a 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna put it right there. You want to make sure that your fuse is not in the holder when you make this connection. Put it in this place, tighten it back down. Once you have made the connection, then you can install your fuse. I'm going to go ahead and put some electrical tape around this butt connector here, same way we did in the back. And I think I'll put a zip tie right there. Next, I'm going to bundle up all of my wire from my four pole, or most of it. Leave enough to get to the wiring connection. I'm run it over the top like that. Then I'm going to zip tie the rest of it right here on the back of the hitch. Cut off the excess. Like that. Next, we'll test our wiring out using part number I-26. Brakes, left turn, right turn, running lights. And that'll do it for a look at an installation on the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118410 on our 2009 Kia Sedan. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com and leave us a comment if you have any questions.